my Hunter's Habits coming to you today to show you what I do with the rolls that our vinyl comes on. This is just one example that I'll be showing you today. And when I took it down, a little bit of the glue came, so I just glued it again. But I hang this with the hooks that have the tape that doesn't damage the walls. And it has a fairly large hook here on the end. And so all I had to do was tie the ribbon at the top and I can hang it on my wall. This one is only about 16, 17 inches long. And I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means there's 10 in the back and nine on the front. But that's how many places it, it has to hold your vinyl. And it looks very attractive, I think. Okay, let me set it out of the way. Okay, this is what I did. I took the whole roll and I took off all the plastic tabs. And then I went outside because there is quite a bit of dust when you do this. And I took my Dremel saw, but any saw would work, a hand saw, electric saw, table saw, and you cut them in half. Okay, I just did six inches. You could actually probably do four inches and have three out of it that way, but as much as we get vinyl, six inches was plenty. Okay, so let's get a few of those out of the box. And I put the white ones in the front. Why? I don't know. I'm just going to show you how I attached them together. And I got this ribbon at Walmart. It's a cloth ribbon. So I can glue it and I painted mine gold, but you could do it any color you wanted. I even at first thought, I love metallics. It doesn't matter what it is. I love metallics. And so I thought at first I'd make them all different colors, you know, silver, gold, but then I saw that ribbon and I said, I'm switching with that to that. Looks very attractive hanging on the wall that way. Aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Okay, this is a low temp gun, just a cheap gun from Walmart. Oh, there's one with still the tabs on it. When you paint it or when you glue it, if you're very particular about how you want this to look, you could sand these down to where they're smooth, but when you saw them, you're going to get a lot of dust from this cardboard. So be aware of that. You want to do it outside, not in your hobby room or craft room. Okay. Let's see if it's ready. Yes, it is. If I was using a high temperature glue gun, I'd be more concerned about if I touch the tip put that down so it's not so noticeable and notice they're not exactly even I just kind of tried to center mine this low temp doesn't take but a second to dry and adhere You should see my face right now. I, when I press on something like that, I always tend to make my a funny face. Okay. If you want it to lay flat on your wall, as you add one, you need to kind of make sure that it is level. But I have to lift mine up each time. You could actually be gluing to the one that you're placing on there and keep this 
on the table. Now if you have to have a nice glue gun, I would suggest getting one that has a stand, but because I work most of the time with a low temp, I just lay mine down on the side like this. Okay, now I would do five more if I was showing you how to finish this, but I am going to just, I don't think I have that low enough. You see where I'm placing that? My hand's not in the way. Need to get it a little bit lower. And then just press it down on there. And like I said, because I'm dealing with the low temp, it dries fairly quick. It's fairly stable already. Now when you're gluing this next one on, it may not meet together here so you want to make sure that you get the sides on real good and you have to work a little bit faster when you're dealing with low temperature the glue sticks I have I don't buy the low temp glue sticks. I get the ones that are both high temp and low temp so that when I do need a high temp I don't have to search for... Okay, see that one's not even touching. That's why I went ahead and I glued the other sides too. Okay, one more. You will have a little bit of strings when you're using a glue gun. That's normal. So, okay, I'm going to put the glue on that one glue it to it, press it down, and it looks like we've got all three adhered on that one. Okay? And you just continue. You can do them as long as you want, as, as long as you want them. You know, you could put more than 10. You could go 12, 15. I wanted mine small enough to where I could handle it if I took it down off the wall, either to refill or, or looking for a specific color that I would be able to find, be able to handle it easier. Now, once you get the amount that you want, you want to take it outside, spray paint it. You could paint it by hand, but you know, put fancy flowers on it, however you want to do it. But I just spray painted mine. Then I added the ribbon. I did not glue it down on each one because that way if I wanted to add some more to it later and still use the same ribbon I just taped it at the top and at the bottom be sure and cut it long enough so that you can tie a knot or a bow in the top and that's about all there is to it I didn't have to spend $1.99 plus $10 shipping for because I don't have a local Ikea. I would have had to travel for two hours, which I don't do a lot of traveling since I'm my dad's caregiver. And nobody's been to Ikea lately for me. So that's what I was going to do first. That's the common one. And either I saw this idea on Pinterest or on YouTube or somewhere. And I thought, well, I could just make that. And it doesn't cost me anything but a little bit of electricity, glue, a little bit of spray paint and uh, the ribbon and I would have probably bought that ribbon anyway when I saw it okay have a great day hope you learned something be sure and subscribe to my channel hit the little bell so you get updates and as always give me a thumbs up thank you love you all bye bye